Hi everyone, my name is Chad Chilius, and in this video I want to show you how we can use the Common Look Validator to help us determine whether our PDF file is compliant or not. Now, my partner Dax Castro and I always say that compliance is a combination of automated and manual testing to achieve compliance. And that's because we can rely on checkers and, and testers to help us identify problems. But for some of these issues, a human being needs to step in to make some of these decisions. And when you combine the two of those, you can get great results. So if you look at my screen here, I have a sample file open that I'm going to use to show you how to use the Common Look Validator to check our document for compliance. So if we come over here to the Standards panel, uh, I'm going to open up the Standards category, and then I'm going to open up the Accessibility category. And you can see that Common Look allows us to check our document against any number of standards, including WCAG 2.0, WCAG 2.1, PDF UA, as well as HHS. Okay. Now, in this video, I'm going to use PDF UA as the standard for which I'm shooting for. So I'm going to go ahead and choose PDF UA, and then I'm going to click the full button. And Common Look is going to run a check against this document. And as you can see, the validator is displaying a list of issues that it has found. Now, currently, it's showing me a lot of information. If you click on the filter by drop down, you can see it's showing me what's being skipped. It's showing me warnings, user verifications, failed, passed, so on and so forth. I'm really only concerned with what's failing right now. So I'm going to uncheck all and turn on failed. And now you can see, if you look at the bottom of the validator, I have 29 errors that are currently being found. Now, don't let that number frighten you because the validator is going to help us to address those issues in a very easy way. So I'm going to click on the first thing that's listed here. And if you look over here in the description, this is what I find most valuable. I'm going to open this up so we can see this a little bit better. But um, this first issue is that I'm missing the PDF UA identifier. Okay. Now, the way Common Look works is if I double click on this issue, a wizard pops up and it says, okay, how would you like to fix this problem? Well, you can see the fix option is set the PDF UA identifier, and that's what I want to do. So I'm going to click the finish button. Now you'll notice my number of errors has reduced to 28. Okay. I'm going to double click on the next one. This is telling me that the title is not being displayed. So if you click on the fix option drop down, there is only one solution to this problem. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish, right? And that addresses that problem. Now the next one, it says that I have a tag of type L that's nested inside of an L. And what I love about the validator is that when I click on one of these errors, it actually highlights the tag that it's referring to. Okay. And sure enough here, I do have an L inside of an L, which is not allowed. So if I double click on that error, you can see that I have a couple of options in the fix options. I can convert it to a different tag. I can untag it. I can perform a level up on the children. What I want to do is just level up the highlighted tag. And to save me time, I'm going to turn on this checkbox to apply the fix to other issues because these three are all the same problem. So I'm going to click the finish button and common look has addressed all of them. Okay. The next one is that, uh, I have a figure that has no alternate text. Again, it highlights it in the tags pane. It also highlights it on screen. So I'm going to double click on this. And this is where a human being needs to step in because there's no checker that's going to be able to write the alternate text for you. Okay. So I'm going to click the next button. I do want to add alt text. I'm going to click next. And now I could type what I want the alternate text to be. And I am going to type the URL at the end. I typically do not like to do this because uh, alt text cannot have an actual link within that alt text. You could type out a URL, but the user is not going to be able to follow that link. Okay. So I'm going to click finish. 
that addresses the problem. I have one more that's missing alt text. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. And then I'll go ahead and finish. Okay. So now I have some issues with header cells. Okay. Now, before I run the wizard, what I'm going to do is look at this table. And you can see this table actually spans across a page. But what I'm concerned about is how many rows are in this table. So I have one, two, three, four, five, actually six rows. Now you may be wondering why I'm counting those rows. Well, you're going to see in a second why. So I'm going to double click on the header cells error. And in the fix options, I could choose whether uh, my table has column headers only, whether it has column and row headers, or whether it only, or whether I want to show the table editor. Okay. Now for this table, it does in fact only have column headers. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that option. I'm going to hit next. And then it says how many rows are in the table or how many rows contain column headers. So I'm going to increase that number to six, which is what I have. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And you'll see all those header cell errors just disappeared. The last thing I have here is a parent tag of link annotations doesn't have alt text. That is a PDF UA requirement. And so what I'm going to do is double click on that error. It's showing me the alt text it's going to add to this. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply the fix to similar issues. And when I click finish, it's going to address all of those errors. And I now have nothing that's failing in this document. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you've seen how we can leverage common look to find the issues in our file and also how to fix them in order to make our document compliant. Thanks so much, guys. I hope to see you again soon.